Well, I do a lot of drawing and I draw on a piece of paper the old-fashioned way with a pen or a pencil and I end up scanning it into my computer but um, it's drawing on paper that I like most of all. My studio, as you can see, is um, quite a chaotic place and I love showing little bits and pieces of everything I do and have done and uh, things that that uh, influence me and inspire me I have hanging all over the walls. And it's very interesting when I watch my clients, many of whom are brides-to-be, uh, walk into this place and they've been going to you know, places where things are provided to them on little satin cushions and they come into this place and I, they, I think they're afraid they're going to get tetanus. But they really love it after spending a few seconds because they just see so much stuff and they see that they're, they're getting something that has never been given before, they're, that, that was never made for anyone else. One of the things about uh, living at Brick Bottom and living and working in a place is you don't have much of a commute. Um, I find, however, that the commute, uh, what you save in time in commuting, you um, may lose in trying to get a good night's sleep because just a few feet away is that job you haven't finished yet and it weighs on you. And when you're supposed to be dreaming and sleeping or reading a book or watching TV, 10 feet away is that job saying, why don't you finish me for God's sake? The people that organized Brick Bottom and built it, created it, made it happen, were about a hundred artists that met every week in a gallery in South Boston and hammered out all of the details about how this building was going to be run. And though not all of those original artists are with us today, the community that we started with was very strong and the community uh, is strong now. Even the people that move in the day after tomorrow, I think, will feel just at home as the people that have been here for 25 years.